Hello everybody, it's Lunar Fury coming at you here. We've got a laser beak lore video, my friends. There he is in the packaging. As always, I cannot stress enough, this is not a review. It is a lore video using the figure as a prop. So, give me a minute here and we'll get him out. Alright friends, here we have him. Here's Laser Beak. Very nice looking figure, I think. Really like him. Look at the stickers. What do we got here? Intercept tracking night. Play the sword mix. <laughs> Our Decepticon logo. <laughs> nice. Yeah, here, this is Laserbeak. Laserbeak is uh, apparently, originally, Laserbeak was meant to be uh, an interrogator. But because they didn't think that was kid friendly, but I saw who was meant to be the spot and came with the original G1 sound right? So I just kind of left out. And uh, Laserbeak was made the inter or the, the espionage, the spy. But Laserbeak does spying and interrogation. Pretty much Laserbeak. From, I had the uh, G1 laser beak back in the day. I think I had them all but Buzzsaw because Buzzsaw came with Soundwave and I didn't have a Soundwave when I was a kid. But I had all the Cassetticons. Laser beak's probably one of my favorites of the Cassetticons because laser beak was always flying around and uh, basically what laser beak would do is what he would spy on the Autobots or any other thing that would be of use to the Decepticons and he would uh, then report back to Soundwave and who would then report it to Megatron. And, uh, apparently in the comics Laser Beak was famous for showing changes of leadership in the Decepticons. Whoever he would purge on would be the leader of the Decepticons. Now, it's not really a whole lot of lore for Laserbeak. I mean, I don't really have a whole lot of lore. He was uh, spying on the Autobots in the 86 movie and, and went and informed Megatron of the shuttle going to the Autobot City, which enabled them to ambush it and kill everybody aboard and then attack Autobot City. But now, it's a really cool little figure, and he, and they go, they go into the Soundwave figure. And so we'll be making a little video of here shortly. I just wanted to do laser beak really fast because that way I have somebody to put in the Soundwave to show you guys when I make the Soundwave lore video. Now. Here, we've got the card that comes with them. Nice little box art. And it's a very nice little picture of laser beak there, I believe. And then here we've got a tech specs on the back. And laser beak has five strength, eight speed, six intelligence, and eight firepower. Wow, eight firepower. That's, that's surprising. There's one thing Laserbeak's known for is he uses lasers which deplete fairly quick and often is his weapon of choice, which he also uses in interrogation to cut people to shreds as he's interrogating them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change him into his alt mode to show you guys. So just bear with me a minute, and we'll be right back, my friend. 
Alright guys, here, you go. here we have our tablet mode. And this is the mode that would go down in the sound way. And check it out. It's pretty neat. The decals on the car totally so I believe are better. But yeah, it's very cool. Very cool. There is a third uh, mode where you can make him into like a like a little vehicle thing, but I'm just not going to show it. I think it's silly. And, uh, this is what it would be made. We'll do it. This is the head tucked down there. This is a very cool little figure, though, my friend. But, yeah. All uh, laser beak, my friends, was, uh, now he's a tablet instead of a cassette. And, like I said, he does have a third little mode where there's some wheels that come out. Uh, right here, and I guess it makes a little sled vehicle for Titans, for Titan Masters. Uh, yeah, well, here we have Laserbeak, and uh, he is very, very cool, my friends. I'd highly recommend picking up the figure if you are a fan. Um, that pretty much wraps up the lore, though, and. Uh, Hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm gonna get to work on getting you a sound, the sound label or video now that I've got one of his uh, cassette cons recorded. That way we can use that in the sound label. As always, my friends, remember to be good to one another. Stay classy. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and stay subbed. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Tell your friends. Have them do the same. The Lunar Fury, over and out.